Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. In this video, we answer the question, what is an internet exchange point, or in short form, IXP? First, let's start off with a brief description of how the internet functions. The internet is a collection of numerous independent networks interconnected to form what is known as a network of networks. Users on different networks communicate with each other through interconnection between these different networks. Let's use an example to explain this further. The example will be when one person, we will call them John, sends an email to someone else, we will call them Mary. So John is sending Mary an email, but each of them uses a different provider for their internet services. John uses Comcast Xfinity, while Mary uses AT&T. In this case, the email must pass from Comcast Xfinity's network to AT&T's network to reach its final destination, which is Mary's inbox. In order for this to happen, a data center provides a physical location where the interconnection of those two different networks can occur. This physical location is known as an Internet Exchange Point, or IXP, and the data centers where these Internet Exchange Points are located are often called interconnection hubs. Let's discuss now a bit more about the mechanics of how this all works. So network providers like Comcast and AT&T mutually benefit by exchanging data traffic. By using these Internet Exchange Points, both companies are able to shorten the distance that data traffic needs to travel in order to get to the other company's network and in turn to the end user. By doing this, it reduces latency in your use of the internet and allows the email that John sent to Mary to reach her inbox much quicker. The exchange of traffic between these networks is known as peering, which is when networks agree to trade traffic at relatively equal amounts, often at no charge to the other company. Historically, these networks were peering with each other in what were known as network access points, or short for NAPs, which were run by companies that now form part of Verizon and AT&T. However, ultimately these NAPs were unable to scale with the extraordinary growth of the internet from companies like AOL, Yahoo, and Microsoft. After also attempting to use what are known as private circuits for the purposes of peering, the carriers of data traffic finally settled on a solution that is now used today, which is a more efficient and cost-effective way of peering. This gave rise to Internet Exchange Points, or IXPs, located in multi-tenant data centers, which are also known as co-location facilities. Therefore, today, many carriers of data traffic, like Comcast and AT&T, are peering through data center providers like Equinix and Digital Realty. But you might be wondering that since the internet is so large and at the same time it needs physical internet exchange points, then where are all the key points of interconnection located? Well, it's an important question and we wanted to highlight for you where some of the most significant internet exchange points or interconnection hubs are located globally. To do this, we will use and highlight a great free resource, which you can access at any time at internetexchangemap.com. We'll also put the links in the description. With this map, we will now walk you through some key examples of data centers that house these internet exchange points or act as interconnection hubs. Starting with the United States, number one is CoreSight's LA1 data center in Los Angeles, also known as One Wilshire. This is one of the most densely interconnected data centers in the world. For example, it has nearly 400 service providers and has multiple subsea cables that connect into the facility. This makes CoreSight's LA1 data center a key hub for exchanging international data traffic between the west coast of the United States and Asia Pacific. Once you zoom in to the actual location of the data center and you click on the pin, you are able to see on the right panel here some of the different internet exchanges which connect in to this internet exchange point. For example, the NYIIXLA, which I'm highlighting now, is part of the New York International Internet Exchange and is operated by Telehouse. Now let's move to the east coast of the United States and show you one of the main hubs in that region. 
So number two is Equinix Ashburn, which is a campus of 13 data centers in Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., and located next to Washington Dulles International Airport. This campus is the largest internet exchange point in North America and an important hub to connect the Eastern United States with Europe. Within these facilities, connections can be made with over 200 networks, 275 cloud service providers, 100 financial enterprises, and 520 different content and digital media companies. Think of some of those as Netflix and Disney+. Going beyond these key hubs in Los Angeles and the Washington DC area, Equinix also houses key internet exchange points in Chicago, San Jose, California, and Miami. Notably, Miami is the primary internet exchange point between the United States and the Latin American markets, such as Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, and Bogota in Colombia. Finally, Digital Realty, another key data center operator, owns the other major United States interconnection hubs, which are located in New York, Seattle, and Atlanta. Next, we will quickly highlight some notable global internet exchange points and interconnection hubs. Starting with Europe, in London, Telehouse's North facility and multiple Equinix data centers are located in the Docklands, which is in East London, and are both key interconnection hubs for the United Kingdom. Equinix also operates the main internet exchange points in Frankfurt, Germany, and Amsterdam in the Netherlands, while Telehouse controls the key internet exchange facility in Paris, France. Let's move on now to the Asia-Pacific region. Starting with Hong Kong, the main internet exchange point is housed at a facility known as Mega Eye, which is a data center operated by a company called Sunny Vision. This facility is a key entry and exit point for exchanging data traffic with the greater China market. In India, the main interconnection hub is located in Mumbai, which is operated by a company called GPX, and will actually soon be under the ownership of Equinix. Moving over now to Singapore, this is another location where Equinix also holds the primary internet exchange points. While moving further down into Australia, Equinix again dominates the Sydney, Australia market, but local operator NextDC controls the key hubs in Melbourne and Brisbane. If you want to learn more about the digital infrastructure behind all of this interconnection, and who the main data center operators are that provide these cross connects, then visit us at dgtlinfra.com to check out the article, Data Center Interconnection Cross Connects Reach 1 Million. Here we discuss how in 2020, total interconnections, which includes both physical cross connects and virtual interconnections, reached 1 million globally. As always, we will link to these articles in the description below. With that, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.